You guys know how in the old days we had snipers in World War II with their old 1903s and a cigarette in their mouth? Well, one day I think we're going to see the new age of snipers with double-deckers in Bob Way's top shelf with a shy tech intervention. That'd just be cool to think. I just wanted to share that with you. Anyway, today we're talking about the sniper build and if it's viable for you or your team. Let's jump right in. Armor should be light. I prefer Scout for LARPing purposes, so I'm running the Trailblazer Scout Drip with which is available on page 7 of the base war bond. Then for the guns, we got two Marksman rifles available, which we want to use the Diligence for the bugs and the Counter Sniper for the bots. Due to this, Diligence uh, having a higher mag capacity with slightly less damage, I think is better on the bugs, and then for the bots having a slightly less magazine capacity, but with the same time having the higher damage and medium armor penetration, I believe is better to use on the bots. And for the secondary, we're going to use the Redeemer Machine Pistol for the versatility. And then for our grenades, we got impacts, but you can use whatever you please. As for our stratagems, we'll be using the Anti-Material Rifle because, of course, sniper build. Then we want the Jump Pack for the bugs, and I switched over to the Shield Pack for the bots, but I think you can use whichever pack you would like. Then we want the Orbital Cannon Strike, because what is that but just a massive sniper rifle? And then the Orbital Precision Strike, because what is that but just a massive explosive sniper rifle? And then for your booster, take your pick. I'm going to run Stamina here, just for the bugs, and not to make this video a year long, we are going to do bugs here, and I'll do a separate video on the bots. Here we go. Level 1 was extremely uneventful, but I will say that since the latest patch, the Martian Rifles feel pretty damn good, so that gave me high hopes for this run. Moving on to level 2, the AMR is very nice for utility in most cases, but I can already tell this is going to come back to bite me in my ass. Moving on though, for level 3, I fell down this hole, and instead of popping back out into Brazil, I hit a very hard bottom and had no way of desynchronizing myself, so I had to wait until I got my precision strike back. Not before a goddamn hunter jumped down here and cut me up before he jumped right back out like the damn coward he was. Then I had to finish the mission without my gear, which wasn't hard being level being on level 3, but I also picked up this machine gun and being a scout up shit's creek with no paddle, we must learn to use other weaponry to survive. Moving on. Level 4, well, fuck me. We're making fuck me making this two videos. We're going back to the bots, boys. Level 1 for the bots, we're switching to the counter sniper for this one, gents, as well as the frag grenades so we can destroy fabricators. Super easy moving. What? Super easy moving? Why did I put that in the script? Super easy moving on is what I meant to say. Anyway, level 2 got bombed by these bastards as I was trying to slow my Seaf artillery, which is basically just a really big sniper rifle. Finished this mission and was pleasantly surprised at how good the loud... My god, if I don't start grammar checking my scripts, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Finished this mission and was pleasantly surprised at how good the loadout was doing. Let's see how I feel about it in the end. Level 3, this was slightly stressful, but in all honesty, it was manageable. So, moving on. Level 4, once again, very uneventful, but with me being on Space Iraq, I did get to do a little long-range work here and there, which was always fun. Level 5, we lost a stratagem for this one, so we're going in without our precision strike. Still not super eventful, I finished up all the stuff around, surrounded by fire and lasers, before I left. Oh my lord, my grammar is awful. Level 6, this shit was fucking hard. And I don't know how I managed to complete it, but I did, even through all trials and tribulations, all just to get burned alive by an act of super Jesus. Level 7. Holy fuck, Game Master Joel did not want me to complete this one. And in turn, ending our run for the sniper build. And honestly, thank God, because this was a lonely, not Sigma experience. Also, yes, I did unironically say Sigma. Don't mention it, or I will find you. In the end, though, I would like to thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful day.